What to do if you meet the prince and princess next on The Lighter Side. Imagine you and your newlywed partner are young, world famous, and unimaginably wealthy. Where would you go for your first big trip as a married couple? For His Royal Highness Prince William and his new wife Catherine, the answer is Canada, which got us wondering what makes Canada so special. Canada's always played that role of shaping the royal family. The royal family has shaped Canada. Canada has shaped the royal family throughout our history. King George VI and the, the Queen, his great-grandparents, uh, they said that the tour of Canada in 1939 made them and gave them self-confidence. Canada's been a proving ground, if you will, for the royal family. This being the first royal tour of William and Catherine, it may well shape their perspective of themselves and their ability to carry out their public duties. It could be a very critical event in their lives. Although you can expect plenty of pomp and ceremony, this tour will be more action-packed than your typical royal visit, reflecting the personal style of the royal couple. With William and Kate, what you're seeing is what I've been calling the development of Monarchy 2.0. This is the reinvention of monarchy for a whole new generation. And what you're seeing with the wedding, with this tour, it's about reaching out to a whole new demographic, creating the next generation of monarchists and royal watchers. And that's how this institution is going to survive into the 21st century. One uh, unique or distinctive aspect I think of this uh, summer's tour is that Prince William will be doing training uh, with the Canadian Coast Guard. We'll be flying uh, search and rescue helicopters which he does uh, professionally. This hands-on approach reflects William's interest and will also give this tour a different dimension from past royal visits. Their royal highnesses also plan to get hands-on across the country. So which Canadian stop offers the best chance to see the royal couple? Probably the best opportunity for Canadians to see the Duke and Duchess is going to be right here on Parliament Hill. Canada in Ottawa is always a huge celebration, but it's made all the more special with the arrival of the Duke and Duchess. And if you do happen to meet the Prince and Princess, what should you do? Well, the protocol of meeting members of the royal family has changed a lot over the years. Women aren't expected to go out and buy fresh white gloves anymore. Even though things have become a little more relaxed, there's still a little bit of formality. They are royalty after all. But when they're coming up to you in the line, you shouldn't shove out your hand. You should wait to be offered theirs to shake it. And once you do shake their hand, you know, a, a respectful bow from uh, the neck down for gentlemen or for ladies, a uh, right foot behind left and a slight bending of the knees is all that's expected. 